Do I need a license to sell food from home in Maryland? So if you're looking to create a home-based food business in Maryland, then you may or may not need to get a permit and license. We're going to cover that question here on Cottage Foods Laws, and we're going to get into it right now. All right, so welcome back to Cottage Foods Laws. And in this video, we are gonna dedicate specifically to answering that question from one of our subscribers on, do I need a license to sell food from home in Maryland? And you'd be quite surprised to know the amount of money that you can make and some of the regulations that you'll need to follow. So before we do, as always, definitely hit the subscribe button if you're brand new to Cottage Foods Laws. This is a YouTube channel dedicated to home food entrepreneurship. We're going to cover all the state's Cottage Food Laws and give you additional resources to get your food business up and running. And actually, we have three other great channels here on YouTube that are food entrepreneur related. We have one that's nearing about 100,000 subscribers, a fantastic group of people who are helping each other out as well. We have some uh, Facebook groups. Check out all those uh, links down below in the description section when you get an opportunity as well. So let's dive right into this question about do I need a license to actually sell food from home in Maryland? So you'll be surprised to know that Maryland is quite lenient. Yes, they are quite lenient when it comes to having legalities and such going on. You do not need a license, permit, or even registration in the state of Maryland when you want to operate a cottage food business from home. Now, with that being said, though, you want to make sure you do a couple of things, though. Um, you want to make sure that you take this business seriously. As I recommend in most all of my videos about home-based food businesses, be sure to create an LLC. You don't want to handle your food business as a sole proprietor because sole proprietorships legally have all of the legalities and responsibilities fall on the owner's shoulders. And when you operate a food business, somebody could get sick or ill. And if that is the case, you personally could get sued and potentially lose your home, your house, your cars and everything else that you've got. Yes, that is actually a fact. You are not necessarily needed to have a LLC under Maryland's cottage food laws. Actually, most states, believe it or not, don't require you to have it. But as a layer of protection, I always recommend from my perspective, I've been in the food industry for over 30 years, you need to be operating a business as such. And creating an LLC will create a limited liability corporation, allowing you the opportunity to not absorb any legalities from you as a personal standpoint, but your business will. But it will definitely save anything as a as figuring any type of litigation from a personal perspective. So with that being said, the second thing is food business insurance. Now you're probably thinking, wow, food business insurance policy, Damien, that's that's a lot of money. And well, they average about five to six hundred dollars a year for home-based food businesses, and that's gonna be product liability coverage. Okay, and that's a pretty just basic standard across the board insurance policy. That's gonna be also your second layer of protection you want to have set up. Because if you've got product liability, You've got your LLC and a business license, um, even though you're not necessarily needed to have one, it's going to help protect your family, of course, from any type of potential litigation. A lot of people assume that when they start home-based food businesses, that, well, I've got a homeowner's insurance policy, Damien, and then that kind of covers my business. I'll be fine. Um, not necessarily. No, it doesn't. That's kind of uh, one of the myths about having a home insurance policy is that it covers businesses within the dwelling being your home and it doesn't not when it comes to food preparation and people eating and such so don't take the risk i highly recommend and again if you need some more resources about this check below our video here we have a fantastic blog and a huge website too by the way set up marketingfoodonline.com and we operate a ton of fantastic resources that we have available for you guys as well now damien do i need any inspections also before i start in maryland actually actually no you don't Maryland has two types of home-based food businesses. One is a Maryland cottage food law, and the other one is a Maryland on-farm home processing. Now, they are slightly different though when it comes to the on-farm home processing business. If you want to create that type of business, inspections would be required, and actually it is different when it comes to licensing and permits, yes, and registration as well. So Maryland's on-farm home processing, yes, you do have permits, licensing, and other registration processes that are involved with that, but we'll get to another separate video specifically more about that but just distinguish the two and separate the two as well so if you want to dive into the food realm if you've got a great salsa you got a recipe you got some baked goods things of that sort and you want to sell them you definitely can do it in maryland and you don't have to have a license or permit to do it lastly before we get uh, get uh hang up here on the on our video i wanted to do one more thing and let you know that one great thing about maryland's cottage food laws is that you can sell your products to retail stores but the only thing that's different is that you'll have a food handler training course. Now that is required only if you want to sell, if you've got baked goods or you've got a delicious trail mix or something like that and you want to sell it to retailers, you can. That's actually amazing because most states don't allow that. Uh, but you need to get a food handler's training course done. 
So all in all, that is uh, what you need to do in order to get your food business up and running. You don't have any permits, you don't have any licensing, and that's one of the big benefits of Maryland. So if you have any more questions about starting your home-based food business in Maryland, let us know down below, and I'll see you guys on our next video. Check out these resources here too for additional free videos.